Hi all, uh, this is Chetan from Kvrix Technologies and in this uh, video what we are going to see is how to host a static website on S3 using custom domain name. So as you might already know, um, we can host static websites on S3 and uh, AWS gives us 5 GB of free space on S3 for lifetime. So effectively, uh, you can host your website for free on S3 but uh, when we do that we get a custom domain name which is AWS provided uh, domain name but in real life we would require our own website with our own domain name and that's where this um, video shows how to do that so here I'm assuming uh, we will be buying the domain name from say GoDaddy and uh, the actual website will be hosting on AWS so on cost perspective uh, there is a one time cost for buying a domain depending on which domain you uh, buy uh, and then for hosting a website uh, it would charge uh, 0.5 dollar per month and that is not a charge for S3 but that is a charge for AWS Route 53 DNS service okay so uh, let's understand how the DNS will work in this case. So the end user when he hits a website domain in its browser say awscloudtraining.com uh, as the domain is purchased uh, from GoDaddy the DNS request will go to, go to GoDaddy server uh, and what we will do is uh, we will tell GoDaddy don't manage DNS yourself but let AWS Route 53 service manage the DNS so the request for DNS will from there will go to AWS uh, DNS service that is Route 53 and Route 53 will host all the DNS for our website and as website is hosted on S3 it will get the DNS uh, IP address from the S3 and uh, ultimately uh, we will get the response back with the given IP address and then uh, end user browser will directly connect over HTTP or HTTPS to the S3 backend where our website is hosted. Okay, so in this flow, uh, if you see there are a couple of uh, prerequisites that uh, we need to have. We What we need is a domain name from GoDaddy. So for this exercise, I have already purchased a domain name called awscloudtraining.com from GoDaddy and uh, rest of the thing we'll be doing in this exercise one more thing i already configured is aws route 53 public hosted zone because it takes some time for the dns to be properly propagated and that's where i did it upfront but i'll show you how to do that okay so with this uh, the steps would be uh, very simple uh, we need to have two S3 bucket now why two because generally when you access your website uh, you will put a name say awscloudtraining.com but it's uh, ideal way to host a website is with World Wide Web uh, subdomain that is www.awscloudtraining.com so uh, how it is done in AWS world is you create S3 buckets with uh, both the names and then you have this main domain S3 bucket uh, redirect your request to uh, www subdomain so for that we need two S3 buckets one with main domain name and one with uh, www subdomain and then we will configure the main bucket to redirect traffic to ww subdomain and we will actually host all our content uh, will upload to ww uh, subdomain bucket uh, and we will configure this bucket for website hosting in s3 now after we do this uh, next thing what we need to do is we need to tell godaddy that all the dns will be managed by aws route 53 service and for that we will create uh, aws route 53 public hosted zone which will give us the name servers on amazon site we will update these name servers uh, to godaddy dns which will effectively tell godaddy that if you get an query for domain name 
awscloudtraining.com just forward the request to amazon name servers and then in amazon route 53 public hosted zone we will create record sets for these two domains the main domain and www subdomain which points to corresponding s3 buckets okay if you got confused don't worry we will do all these steps one by one so as explained let's first create two s3 buckets with the same as your domain name uh, it's important that s3 bucket needs to be same as domain name this is a restriction from aws side so let's do that so i'm into my s3 console and i want to create this particular uh, website with the domain name awscloudtraining.com so i'm just going to do that i'm just going to create a bucket with the name awscloudtraining.com this bucket name should be available it is global it is uh, unique globally so if your domain name bucket is already taken then you cannot do this uh, similarly i want another bucket that is subdomain www aws cloud training.com okay i got these two buckets now the next thing i configure the main bucket to redirect request to www subdomain so i just go inside a bucket i go to its properties i say static website hosting but i am not really host a website in i just want to redirect the request to www aws cloud training.com okay and just save it that's it we don't need any other settings on this bucket let's go to our main bucket uh, that is a subdomain www.awscloudtraining.com and also make it uh, enable for website hosting and the root document is index.html just save it and here in this bucket we want to actually upload all our website content so i hope you have your website sample website content with you if not just download any template and you can use that from google so i'm just uploading the content that i have I'm just selecting everything and dragging and dropping to this okay so as uh, the contents are getting uploaded I also need to make this bucket public and as you know in S3 world it is done using the S3 bucket policy and before that i need to disable some settings here which is public access settings so i'll just go here and uncheck these boxes which will allow me to set this bucket public later okay and now i go to the bucket policy and then i can put a bucket policy which i have here okay i put this bucket policy here and i just need to replace this bucket name with my bucket name that is aws cloud training.com sorry it is www dot aws cloud training.com okay save it it will show a warning that's okay okay i have set it okay so on s3 side uh, we are done with our settings now the more important thing is to manage the dns so as i told you uh, i expect you to already you have bought some domain name from godaddy if you see i have my domain name awscloudtraining.com which i bought from godaddy now before going to the godaddy actually you should go to route 53 service of amazon and you should create a public hosted zone with the same name as your domain name so here i have already created this uh, hosted zone which is public hosted zone 
so when you will create you will see similar entry aws cloud training.com if you click this when you create this hosted zone amazon creates this two records automatically that is name server and start of authority soa so what we are interested in these name servers because these name servers actually resolve your domain name to an ip address so we need to copy this name server somewhere there is an extra dot at the end which code ID does not want so we can remove this and just copy these name servers and you need to update these name servers at GoDaddy DNS. So if you see here, I have this DNS management and I have already updated GoDaddy's name servers with these name servers which I got from AWS. Right? If you, you might not have this, so you need to go here in GoDaddy console and change your name servers and then you can just go on adding these four name servers which Amazon gives you. Okay, so I, this step I had already done, but you can easily just go and do the same thing. Once you do this, uh, your GoDaddy site settings are done. Only thing remaining is updating AWS Route 53 with corresponding record sets. So if you see everything is done, the last missing piece is creating the record sets. So we'll create a first record set, which is an Apex zone or a main domain top level domain you call it and we need to point it to s3 now for pointing a domain name to s3 as you know in aws you have to create a record of type allies and you have to point it to corresponding s3 bucket okay we did this now what will happen when somebody hits aws cloudrunning.com the request will fill, request first will go to the godaddy name server and for from there it will go to AWS Route 53. It will check this record. It will find that the request has to go to uh, S3. And uh, if you know on this S3 bucket with the same name as AWS Cloud Training.com, we redirect it, it to www.aws Cloud Training.com. So that means it will again try to resolve this domain name. And for that, we also need to create one more entry here with the subdomain www.aws Cloud Training.com. Again, the type is allies and the target is S3 bucket with the same name and you just create it. Okay, so if you go back to our slides, whatever is mentioned here is actually done. So if things, uh, if we have configured things perfectly, then we should have our website up and running at the address awscloudtraining.com so let's just verify that okay so depending on uh, the dns uh, ttl time to leave it might take some time for this dns to be actually in effect uh, so let's just check i'm just going to incognito window and i'm just typing awscloudtraining.com okay so my dns is already getting resolved and if you see what happened is uh, aws cloud training.com was routed to from godaddy to aws route 53 there we know we have this uh, uh, record set which goes to this s3 bucket with the same name aws cloud training.com and we had set this bucket uh, aws cloud training dot com to redirect the request to www.awscloudtraining.com domain and then again the it goes to the route 53 where this this particular domain name points to corresponding s3 bucket which is our s3 bucket www.awscloudtraining.com so i think uh, it completes the flow and that's where we were able to hit this with our custom domain name so that was the purpose of this uh, exercise and uh, if you could do this congratulations uh, in next part we will see how to uh, have an https uh, 
connection for our website so SSL enabled and for that we need to bring in one more AWS service that is CloudFront in the picture okay by then goodbye if you like this just like and share this video thank you very much